Welcome to PIBA's Get Set for Retirement, Retirement Presentation for Members Approaching Retirement. In this section, we will go over service retirement eligibility and benefit calculation. Class 2 members are those whose earned service began prior to July 1, 2012. Class 3 members are those whose earned service began on or after July 1, 2012. Your membership class affects service retirement eligibility, your average final compensation calculation and credit for unused leave at retirement. If you are a Class II member of the South Carolina Retirement System, or SCRS, you must have five years of earned service. For a normal, unreduced benefit, you must have at least 28 years of service, or be age 65 or older. Early retirement options are also available and allow you to retire before normal retirement eligibility, but with a reduced benefit. If you are at least 60 years old, you may retire. Your benefit will be reduced by 5% for each year your retirement precedes your 65th birthday. Another early retirement option is for members age 55 or older with at least 25 years of service. In this scenario, your benefit would be reduced by 4% for each year of service less than 28. These early retirement benefit reductions are permanent. If you are a Class 3 SCRS member, you must have 8 years of earned service. For a normal, unreduced benefit, you must meet the rule of 90 or be age 65 or older. The rule of 90 means your age plus your years of service equal at least 90. Early retirement is also an option for Class 3 members. If you are at least 60 years old, you may retire. Your benefit will be permanently reduced by 5% for each year your retirement precedes your 65th birthday. As a Class II Police Officers Retirement System, or POR's, member, you must have at least 5 years of earned service, and either have at least 25 years of total service or be age 55 or older. There are no early retirement options for POR's. As a Class III member of POR's, you must have at least 8 years of earned service, and either have at least 27 years of total service or be age 55 or older. There are no early retirement options for POR's. The monthly benefit for SCRS and POR's members is determined by a formula that includes your average final compensation, or AFC, your service credit, which includes years earned and years purchased, if applicable, and a benefit multiplier set by statute. The AFC for Class II members includes the 12 highest consecutive quarters of earnable compensation, divided by 3. Termination pay for no more than 45 days of unused annual leave at retirement is added to the sum of your 12 quarters before dividing. Up to 90 days of unused sick leave at retirement, if applicable, will be added to your total years of service credit. The AFC for Class 3 members includes the 20 highest consecutive quarters of earnable compensation, divided by 5. Unused annual leave payouts are not included in Class 3 member AFC calculations, and unused sick leave is not added to your total years of service credit. To determine your maximum monthly benefit, multiply your AFC by 1.82% if you are an SCRS member or by 2.14% if you are a POR's member. Then, multiply this result by your total years of service credit. Next, divide the result by 12 to calculate your gross monthly maximum retirement benefit. Early retirement and joint retiree or survivor payment plan reductions may apply. Let's look at an example where an SCRS Class II member's AFC is $30,000 and they have 28 years of service credit. Multiply the AFC by 1.82%, which equals $546. Multiply $546 by the 28 years of service, which equals $15,288. Finally, divide $15,288 by 12 for a gross monthly benefit of $1,274. For a POR's Class II member with 25 years of service credit and a $30,000 AFC, multiply $30,000 by 2.14%, which equals $642. Multiply $642 by the 25 years of service, which equals $16,050. Finally divide $16,050 by 12 for a gross monthly benefit of $1,337.50. Again, it's important to note that early retirement and joint retiree or survivor payment option reductions will apply. The monthly benefit calculation for Class 3 members is the same as Class 2 members. The only difference in these examples is that the total years of service credit is higher. Early retirement and joint retiree and survivor payment option reductions will also apply. As you begin to think about retirement, it's important to calculate your expected benefit. A simple way to do that is to get a benefit estimate from PIBA. 
Log into your member access account and run as many estimates for different scenarios as you would like. Member access includes details from your account, such as an estimated AFC and your active member beneficiaries. It will also project service until your requested date of retirement to provide the estimate. You can also request an estimate from your employer or PIBA. Reviewing a benefit estimate might prompt you to inquire about buying service credit. Service purchase inquiries can also be made through member access. An estimate may help you choose a future retirement date. Finally, an estimate will display three payment options, two of which provide a survivor benefit should you choose one of the survivor options.